Our community is culturally rich with a wonderful diversity of people. Wednesday evening marks the beginning of the Jewish New Year. Justin introduces us to a local Jewish leader to learn about the importance of this holiday, customs and traditions. Take a look. Good morning, Hometown Living. Today we're hanging out at Temple Bethel. We're in the office of Rabbi Shoshana Kaminsky. Shalom, Rabbi. It's the busiest two weeks in the Jewish calendar. Shalom and welcome. Yes, it is. We are starting the uh, Jewish New Year. Rosh Hashanah begins Wednesday at sundown. Uh, culminates 10 days after that with Yom Kippur, the Jewish Day of um, Atonement. How do you say Happy New Year in Hebrew? It's uh, Shana Tova for a good year or Shana Tova Umituka for a sweet year. We have a lot of sweetness symbolism at this time of the year. We eat a lot of honey, um, honey cake. Uh, there's a traditional recipe to take uh, cookies and boil them in honey. So all kinds of ways to remind us of our hopes for a sweet new year. Well, Shana Tova, Rabbi, yeah, thanks for having me out. What are some other favorite traditions on starting on Wednesday night? Because the Jewish New Year is not just one day, it's two full days. That's right. Well, there's a lot of a lot of food. Uh, there are traditional foods for this time of year, a lot of them with honey and sweetness in them. Uh, I know that uh, families or Jewish families around South Bend will be uh, hosting family and friends for special celebratory dinners and for lunches as well. Um, we eat each week on the Sabbath, we eat a braided loaf of bread called challah, which is a lovely uh, uh, dough that's made with honey and with eggs uh, and oil for lots of delicious richness. Uh, so at this time of the year, that loaf, rather than being braided, it's in a spiral shape uh, as a reminder of the cycle of life, because we do have this idea that this is the time of year for us to take a good hard look at ourselves, think about the kind of people that we want to be and the kind of people that we actually are, think about how we can bridge that gap between the two, the two sides of ourselves. And we do think about the idea of the cycle of life, which is symbolized by the roundness of that challah bread that we eat at this time of the year. And the shofar is an important instrument too because you gotta wake everybody up to let them know that the Jewish New Year is happening on Wednesday night. Explain the meaning of the shofar and what it is. So a shofar is a ram's horn. Uh, the original ram's horn that we talk about is in the really challenging story of how God called upon Abraham to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. And at the last moment that sacrifice was stopped, Abraham found a ram and sacrificed that instead of his son. And so we l read that passage on Rosh Hashanah. We, re we think about Abraham's level of faith and trust to have been willing to take that step. And so when we blow that ram's horn, then it's meant to remind God of our ancestor and how righteous and faithful he was. But as you said um, as well, it's a wake up call. It's not particularly musical. It's really about the loudness and the sound and whatever you're doing, if you've just been going through life, just going through the motions, this is the time of year that you're supposed to wake up and really take a good hard look at your life and think about what could be better and what could be different. You're one of the leaders in the community. You're always hard at work, but you've got two big sermons to, to address on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Are you ready for them? Well, it's more like four sermons, four, four sermons. Yes, um, I'm, nearly, I'm nearly there. Uh, and uh, yes, so there's there's certainly a lot to talk about in the world, a lot to talk about in our own lives. Uh, I'm really focusing this year on a couple of themes. One is our uh, responsibility as people in community and connection for to look out for one another and to care for one another. We are so grateful for non-Jewish friends who are real allies and show their support for members of the Jewish community. And Rabbi, uh, you brought me out here, so we have to have a sweet new year. Let's do some apples and honey right here on Hometown Living. I've got the honey. We cut some apples. It has been an absolute treat to have you on. The Jewish community, it's really special here in northern Indiana. Would you agree? Absolutely, absolutely. And so I do want to, as we're eating these uh, these sweet apples and honey, I want to uh, to send wishes to everyone for a new year of joy, of sweetness, of good health and of peace. All right, let's do it. Here we go. We got our apple, we got our honey. Cheers, Shana Tova. Cheers, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much, Rabbi. Happy New Year, Shana Tova.
My pleasure. For more information on Temple Beth L, check out your screen. You can visit their website or you can give them a call at 574-234-4402 and you can send them an email.